So this is my most current setup now. Uh, been a while since I've done a video. Um, I'm planning to replace this switch here, but I thought I may as well do a video now, otherwise I'll never get around to doing it. So I've still got the HP PoE switch, uh, the 2510G24 PoE, uh, and the fiber link to uh, upstairs. Um, so I've got various servers, uh, all the virtual switches on quad port, gigabit ethernet ports. Um, I've got those green cables there going to various runs in the house. Um, the black cables are for the Drobo. Uh, I've got the new Cisco firewall and some uh, access points by Ubiquiti. So moving down, the two newest additions are the Cisco RV220W. It's a full gigabit uh, firewall, VPN, router, but I'm just using it as a, as a firewall and VPN basically because the server handles uh, the HCP etc. And uh, the UC320, I bought a Cisco, uh, it's like an IP PBX. I had some um, 504G SPA phones uh, that I was trying to get to work on asterisk and use a FXO port, but um, it was just consuming far too much of my time. I found this, did some research about it, and found that it would. Uh, it would basically fit all of my needs just fine. 25 users, I'm using three uh, IP phones and one analog phone, uh, just going down my POTS telephone line. Um, down here we've got the same Dell PowerEdge R310 uh, with two 300 gig SAS drives, they are 15k. Uh, as you can see there, we're at 24 degrees um, I'm putting a chiller in this weekend in this room I found a nice one that runs at 45 watts uh, on max power so if I run that on uh, sort of a lower power it really won't use very much uh, power so I uh, don't really have to worry about that and we've still got the uh, Drobo um, now I've got this set up so that two hard drives can fail this is the B800i model uh, and we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five West Digital 3TB drives and three 2TB drives um, all together with two drives failing as you can see on the front cover here it gives you 14TB of rated storage um, I think I am currently using 2% of that these indicator lights uh, there that run up the side there um, that one isn't even lit on because I'm not even using 10% of it yet but I need to transfer all my data off the old servers and hard drives so once I do that I'll soon chew through some terabytes very nice unit I bought it off, uh, off eBuyer um, and the hard drives were all new that went in it. I would uh, advise anyone that wants to uh, a home server project, you can buy uh, old servers, you buy old HP, old Dell, old, any old servers, but I, I've, I would recommend putting new hard drives in them if you can. If you can't, it's not a massive issue because you've got RAID, but this is my main backup unit. I have people that do off-site backups onto this through crash plan uh, and I do rely on it heavily so and this is a full SAN this is not a NAS this is a SAN you can use and I do use iSCSI you can use uh, MS Chap multi host this can be used for Hyper-V failover nodes I only have one Hyper-V host so I don't really utilize multi host but this unit is a full SAN and can be used for that. Down here we've got the same Liebert PSI. Uh, I can't remember the exact model, uh, but it sufficiently 
provides the rack with uh, with more than enough time in a power failure I think I've had well over an hour and 20 minutes uh, that's everything in the rack I run absolutely everything that you can see in this rack on UPS so we'll go around to the back now okay so here around the back we've got the uh, open reach fiber modem this came today literally it's just been set up um, just blanking out my IP address off there, uh, which I've stuck on. Uh, the back there of the Drobo B800i. Um, so this new connection that I've got, I'm on TalkTalk Talk Business. I have been uh, since I started the server project. And I used to get uh, 10 to 11 down and half a meg up. Uh, and I've been waiting for months for fibre to be rolled out to my exchange and then my cabinet and it has so I got the earliest slot I could to get upgraded to it and it came today, it's been installed and I'm on 54 down, 10 up which is a great improvement so here's the back of the Dell PowerEdge server um, redundant so power 10 supplies. gigabit connections going to the back of this server two four port gigabit ethernet sockets uh, cards even they have Hyper-V virtual switches on and then there are two one gig connections for the unit itself so moving up here is uh, behind that blanking plate where the Cisco devices are I've got a CCTV DVR the power supplies for the camera and the the DVR itself and the power supply there for the UC320. Small temperature probe there dangling from the roof of the cab. Um, these are the power bricks that come with the Ubiquiti access points. I have three of them in the house. Two are off the switch that the fibre run goes to and uh, one, sorry, is on the top switch and two are here. So I have one on top of the server cab and one in the hallway. They are both powered by the EPS. These are two of the cameras monitoring this room. You can see the one on the left is covering the room as a wide image and the camera to the right is covering the back of the server rack. This camera here on the other side of the room has a view of the server rack also. This is the Cisco SPA504G and this particular model is in our lounge as you can see by the screen the BT line can be activated simply by pressing the hotkey I used to have these units just uh, just on the floor or just coming out of a network run but I finally decided it was time to wall mount them so I have uh, one access point here with the trunking which uh, houses a fibre optic cable to the upstairs switch again on the trunking which houses the fibre cable here is another one at the top of our upstairs landing with the entrance to my room 